Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and MWC 2019 hasn't even started and we're starting to see a lot more press releases from companies, specifically Huawei and the brand new Mate X. Now the Mate X is going to be obviously their offering into the foldable market, but the main benefit here, it's going to be the first 5G foldable phone to get to the market. It's very different than what we saw earlier this week with the Galaxy Fold, as that phone is not actually a 5G phone, it's intended to be just their first foldable phone. This is TK and this is XDA TV. This is going to be Huawei's first offering into a foldable technology and basically they gave us two things. First foldable phone from the company and then of course first foldable 5G phone to the market. Uh, other devices that we've seen before like the FlexPi or even the Samsung Fold, both of these devices are not intended to be 5G compatible. They're intended to be first foldable phones from each one of their respective companies. The design that we have here offers in a way two different displays that combine to become into one display. The Fold is on the outside with the hinge mechanism on the inside making it capable of actually going pretty flat. On one end we have a 6.6 inch display and on the other side we have a 6.39 inch display. And what that means is that whenever we open up the actual device with the entire fold open, we're going to get up to 8 inches of display that's going to just look like a massive tablet. And of course all of that can be put back together into a small thin form factor similar to the way we hold our normal smartphone. The Falcon Wind design that we have here provides us the ability of going pretty flat whenever the actual display is all the way open and the thickness at that point is about 5.4 millimeters. That's literally less than what we get currently with the iPad Pro. The battery technology that we have in here essentially is taking two batteries totaling up to 4500 milliamps and providing basically space for them in both sides of the device. So essentially we have two batteries combined power up to 4500 uh, milliamps that are going to be recharged pretty quickly using that brand new 55 watt charger. The Mate, the Mate 20 Pro had a 40 watt charger and that thing was fast. So we're going to be able to go up to 85% in 30 minutes using this technology. This is definitely going to get a little bit warm. As far as the technology that's powering this device, we're looking at the Kirin 980 and we're also looking at 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, a power button that, power, that also doubles up as a fingerprint sensor. But not only that, as far as the 5G modem that we have here, this is the Ballon 5000, which is capable of providing us at maximum speed, of course, one gig movie, basically an entire gig movie, an hour movie down in three seconds. That is ridiculously fast and I cannot wait to see some of those 5G technologies rolling out in the US and across Europe just to be able to enjoy all of these brand new phones that are coming out with these amazing modems in them. My impressions of the brand new Mate X is a little bit mixed. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to play with it, but we got very close to it. So we were able to see very closely the technology, the mechanism, how it folds and how it opens and closes. And for the most part, it looks and feels a little bit similar to the way the FlexPi works as that's the other technology that uses the display on the outside side as opposed to what we saw with the Galaxy device. The Galaxy Fold has a display on the inside. So when you fold it, you have a secondary display on the outside. Where with this one, the outside display is essentially the only one you have. When you expand it, you're getting that 8 inch tablet. And when you close it, you have that 11 millimeter thickness on the device that has two displays, a 6.6 .6 and a 6.39 inch display. Um, the price point is about 2300 euros starting and I think that's because of the 5G technology. That's why they're able to go a little bit higher. Um, is it justified? It's hard to tell at this point where we haven't had an opportunity to play with it or even truly test the obviously you know one gigabyte movie down in three second uh, demo. Uh, for the most part I think this is really cool. I'm looking forward to checking out some more stuff with it. I'm really hoping they'll have one on the show floor definitely since MWC will start tomorrow. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of the brand new Mate X, the Galaxy Fold or even the FlexBuy that we've covered here on you, for you guys. Like and subscribe as usual. Check out the channel and make sure to check out my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.